Time Walk With Me. Hey everybody, welcome back to Time Walk With Me. I am the Time Walker, do not ask me to run, I'm not the Time Runner. I was looking through my Sephiroth deck and I realized it could be a lot more focused, so I massively overhauled it and turned it into what I'm about to describe. Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways is a 2-3 human wizard who costs a white, a blue, and a black mana to cast. Due to her baldness, I recommend that you keep her name out of your mouth. Once per turn, when any number of creature cards finds its way into your graveyard from anywhere else, you get to venture into the dungeon. Since this deck wants to take advantage of this mechanic a lot, the plan is to do this exactly once during each player's turn to get through dungeons most efficiently. And by the way, this ability can only go off once per turn, which is lame, but whatever. This creates many potential strategies. Mine in this deck is to get creatures into the graveyard from my hand by discarding. Whenever you do complete a dungeon, something cool happens. You get a creature back from your graveyard onto the battlefield. Sephiroth doesn't care if it has ever been on the battlefield or how long the dungeon was, so you'll want to use a short one like Tomb of Annihilation or Lost Mine of the Fandelver. The purpose of the cards in this section is to get creatures into my graveyard. They don't all do it by strictly discarding, but many of them do. I took a lesson from my Cody Vociferous Codex deck and included a few creatures that discard themselves through cycling. Bonded Fetch, Captain of Umbar, MSC Tome, Frantic Search, Merfolk Looter, Otherworldly Gaze, Reign of Revelation, Selhof and Tumor, Urza Power Stone Prodigy, Factor Fiction, Fortune's Favor, Buried Alive, Entomb, Gravebreaker Lamia, Oriz Lore Mage, Horror of the Broken Lands, Injector Crocodile, Marauding Brinefang, Mirachel Crab, Rampaging Spike Tail, Tidal Terror, Twisted Abomination, Saiba Trespassers, Waker of Waves, and Necrosavant. This one doesn't perfectly match this section since it makes me sacrifice a creature rather than discard it, but I thought I'd put it here anyway because it's a decent sized creature and it puts a creature into the graveyard. Sephiroth is one way to get creatures back from the graveyard, but since it will take at least three or four creatures going into the graveyard to get one back, I included some cards to improve that ratio. Body Snatcher, Doomed Necromancer, Hell's Caretaker, Obsessive Stitcher. These four creatures double as a way to get a creature into the graveyard, especially Obsessive Stitcher, who would fit in with the creatures that make me draw and discard. Rescue from the Underworld, Unburial Rites, this spell's flashback ability means I can discard it and use it more cheaply. And Victimize. Trading one creature to get two back is a great deal. Going through the dungeon once per turn is nice and all, but I put in some cards that send me through a bit more quickly. I actually cut down on these a lot from the last version of this deck in order to focus more on Sephiroth's ability. Asterarak the Arch Lich. You can avoid the Tomb of Annihilation and just use this as a 3 mana dungeon advancing card. Immovable Rod. This protects you from a scary creature and sends you through the dungeon once per turn for 4 mana. Nadar, Selfless Paladin. Radiant Solar. This angel is so good for this deck. It discards itself, sending you through a dungeon once for its own ability and once for Sephiroth's. Then when you bring it back, it sends you through the dungeon for itself, and later for every other non-token creature that enters the battlefield under your control. And Tomb of Horrors Adventurer. If you're not already in a dungeon, this puts you into the Undercity. If you are already in a dungeon, then you just go to the next room when it enters the battlefield, and then during your upkeep, as long as you maintain the initiative. If you do end up losing the initiative, it's not a huge deal because its second ability copies the second spell you cast each turn once if you haven't completed a dungeon, and twice if you have. Good either way. Ashen Rider. This is a good candidate for discarding and resurrecting later. It exiles any target permanent, not just a non-land permanent. Assassin's Inc. Banishing Slash. Disenchant, Generous Gift, Overwhelming Remorse. You'll likely have a few creatures in your graveyard to give you a decent discount on this spell. 
Shieldred's Edict, Tragic Slip, Vanish into Eternity, and Voidrend. Arcane Signet, Archaeomancer's Map, Burnished Heart, Pieces of ramp like this that are creatures that you sacrifice are good for triggering Sephiroth. Goldmere, Core Cartographer, Marble Diamond, Sky Diamond, Soul Ring, Solemn Simulacrum, Thran Dynamo, and Wayfarer's Bobble. Akroma's Will. This spell's inclusion in any deck that includes white doesn't have to be explained. Archivist of Ogma, Dungeon Delver, Hama Pashar Ruin Seeker. Originally, this and Dungeon Delver were in the dungeon category, but they don't actually send you through it any faster. They just give you more benefits for going through dungeons, except for Tomb of Annihilation. I wouldn't recommend that you use them with that one. Esper Sentinel, are you going to pay the X? And Legion Loyalty. We got islands, plains, and swamps, of course. Crystal Grotto, Dark Slick Shores, Darkwater Catacombs, Dungeon Descent, Exotic Orchard, High Market, Port of Carfell, Port Town, Prairie Stream, Rogue's Passage, Shine Shadow Snarl, that's a hard one to say three times, uh, Sky Cloud Expanse, Spire of Industry, Sunken Hollow, and Temple of so there we go, that is my new and improved Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways, massively overhauled from last time. Tell me what you think, what have you done with your own Sephiroth of the Hidden Ways deck? Hopefully you didn't just leave it the way it is from the pre-constructed deck, but I don't know, it's fine if you did. Anyway, just comment something, tell me something, and I'll see you next time.